All right. He's here. He's here. I'm excited. I am excited. I'm a big Chez fan. Uh, Three Hopes is a severely underrated game. If you have not played it, you should at least give it a try. Oh boy, I tell you, the rivalry, well, I don't know if it's fair to call it a rivalry, but the the tension between, like, Byleth and Chez is, whew, peak gameplay. Okay, so, um, preface this by saying I'm sleepy. I just got from home from work. I'll have to be doing my polls after work because I just don't have any leisure time <laughs> until, like, the second week of September. Lots of overtime still. Anyways, that aside, I've got some questions prepared from some lovely individuals. Uh, both on Twitter and uh, YouTube. Community tab. Um, so, I'll, I'm probably going to do this in like a two or three parts. I'll probably do like maybe 500-ish orbs per part of a video because like I do want to plus 10 this guy and the color share is like good so I'm just going to do it now because look man hold on let me show you I just put like fortifications on my Lumera she's also has finished which is whatever she comes with scowl but she also has reopening I gave her breath of life 4 she's got creation pulse like She's good to go. I also have like a spare uh, Allier I can give her for Dragon Roar and Pledge. And I guess Bulwark because why not? Right? So getting a bunch of her is fine. Getting a bunch of Ike is fine. Despite me having him at plus 10 because, I mean, you can put Lagoo's friend on anyone, man, and it's just good. <laughs> and it'll be fine. So that's why it's not so bad. And we're just gonna get started. Yeah, why not? No. Reds. Rip. Okay. I think... Oh. Good. I was about to say, uh, Colorless is my backup, simply because I want Arvel merges. <laughs> look, look who appears, eh? Good. I hope you're bringing Shez along with you, buddy. Right here now. Shez. Shez! Shez! What the f... I mean, that's fine. <laughs> we take those. You know what? On the off chance I get fucked over, I'm gonna keep this Ike since he's plus res. <laughs> if I get, like, super fucked over, I'll actually consider making another plus 10 Ike. <laughs> Why not, right? Ike's good. Yeah, all right. I actually need to... Hold on. Oh, God. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot to unpause my video. Okay, we're good. So, um... I guess we can get into the first question. I will also say that, um... I don't have a lot of questions, but... I'm not going to answer all of them in this first part of the video. Just in case I don't get, like, more questions later on. Flavia. Dude, I have so many Flavias. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> okay, so, if you did leave a question and I don't answer it in this part of the video, there will be another part, and it will get answered in that. So, yeah. Well, the first question uh, that I was asked comes from Oblivion Knight. The Oblivion Knight himself, live from his box. He actually, uh, very, what's what I'm looking for? Generous. He generously offered for me to move into a box next door to his. He found a nice box for me to move into, so that's that's nice. I may be moving into Pity Break City after this. <laughs> so anyways, Oblivion asks me, what is my favorite... Fire Emblem game, and why is it 
What exactly is the wording he used, actually? Hold on. Oh, yes. And he said, and why is it Tellius? Well, my favorite game is actually the Tellius series. I mean, it's no surprise. I talk about it all the time. So, my, my, my favorite game, Fire Emblem, not, not just my favorite Fire Emblem game, it might... It's actually, like, my top five games of all time. Like, I just, I, I enjoy it that much. Is Radiant Dawn. Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn is just chef's kiss when it comes to Fire Emblem, in my opinion. You know? So, like, Radiant Dawn should be no surprise. Uh, let's see, I played Blazing Blade as my first Fire Emblem game. When, uh, and then Sacred Stones as my second I think most Western gamers that would be how it is. Um, Path of Radiance is what truly hooked me, however. Mostly because of Ike. Um, Ike treated everyone the same, and there was just no bullshit with him, which is... I mean, you know, he'll walk up to a noble and like, be like, what's up, man? <laughs> What's going on? And then, like, T Tassiano will be behind him and be like, Ike, you can't talk to them like that. Like that. And he'll be like, why? They're just a person. <laughs> I really like the cut of his jib, man. Um, And then Radiant Dawn is just better. Like, it's, like, Path of Radiance hooked me, and then Radiant Dawn is just even better than Path of Radiance. And I was like, dude, this game is so amazing. It's like, <clears throat> it introduced a third class change, and it made Laboo's units, which were my, like, the most fun units to play with in Path of Radiance, they just made them even better in Radiant Dawn. I mean, like, like or hate how they changed their, their transformation meter, I had, like, mixed feelings about it, but they're absolute monsters of units in Radiant Dawn, and they're so fun to play with. And then, um, Engage is probably the only game since Radiant Dawn that I genuinely enjoyed on, like, a similar level. Three houses with... Oh, let's go, baby! Yes! Shez. Now, now since Shez popped up, I, I will say, like, a caveat to Three Hopes. It's like a Mushu game. It's not technically a Fire Emblem game. So, like, that's kind of its own thing. But I will say I played the, the other Warriors game. And I... It's fine, but it's not... Like, for me, I would say... Like, it play, they both play the same, right? They're, mechanically, they're the same style of game. But the characters that are available to you in, war, in the Warriors game wasn't characters that I really cared about. Like, it's, like, mostly FE1 and Awaken characters, right? Like, cool. But Three Hopes, it's all Three Houses characters. And, and Three Houses was a very good game. Like, I didn't enjoy it on the same level as, like, Path of Radiance, Radiant Dawn, but I enjoyed it on a level that I enjoyed, like, the GBA games, right? So Three Houses was, while it's not my favorite Fry Emblem game, it's nowhere near my least favorite. Like, it's... If Radiant Dawn is a 10 out of 10, and Path of Radiance is like a 9.5 out of 10, Three Houses is like a solid 7.5 or 8 out of 10. Like, I did really like Three Houses. So, Three Hopes was just enjoyable because I liked the characters. And it did have a better, like, system than, than Warriors. Warriors was very bland as far as Mushu games go. And, like, I've played uh, One Piece Pirate Warriors, so... I at least am, was familiar with that style of game. Um, so yeah. And I kind of forget where I was going with it. I think I just wanted to mention that Three Houses was, like, decent. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, uh, Oblivion, thank you very much for that question, man. Much appreciated. Man. I'm parched on some water. <laughs> uh, questions are great, but I talk a lot and then my tongue gets dry. Ah, that's better. 
Let's see. See, I don't... The problem is, like, I don't want to spam my questions, like, one after the other, because, like, I don't know how long this is going to be. I know it's going to be long, but I don't know, like, what the, like, where the end's going to be, you know what I mean? Let me look at the other greens. Maybe I just, maybe I should switch to green as my backup, honestly. Because, like, Robin could be Merge. Nurgle is fine. <laughs> and then her fodder is, like... Eh, it's okay. Actually, what do you idiots have for fodder, like the other colorless units? Oh, you have boost and sabotage. That's cute. And then what about yourself? Oh, tempo four. Eh. Honestly, it's fortunate that uh, that first colorless was Arbol. I might actually just switch to green for my backup. Because, like, I don't want to get the other two. Like, I really just want Arbol off colorless. The other two are, like, very, very whatever. So I guess I'll switch to green. Maybe I can get like a Robin merge or something. Oh. Or I guess that can happen. That's good. Oh hey, he's plus attack. I think the one I currently have is plus defense. Which is also fine. But that's good. We'll move on. Yep. Mage Erica. Yeah, man, when, um, God, after I, w I was, or I guess towards the end of my, my, uh, reaction for Shez, God, I was looking at my, my work schedule, I was like, oh, holy fuck, man, I, I don't have any time off until the 12th, and the banner's gonna be gone by then. Actually, how long does the banner last for? 13 days? Actually, you know what? If I had waited, I guess I could have done a live stream like the last day of the banner, but like, I know myself, and I would not have waited. Like, it's, I know myself, I would not have waited. So it's best, it's better that I just make these videos, I think. We'll probably get into the next question here in a minute. Yeah. Pull that up. So, my next question is going to come from, what's this person's name? Oops, we fit trainer in. That's a fun name. So this person asks, who is your favorite duo slash harmonic unit and also least favorite? My favorite is Thief Nina. And their least favorite is Summer Shamir. Alright, that's blasphemy. Because Summer Shamir is a treasure who should be protected. <laughs> but we'll give you a pass on that. Hey, look, we got Brave Mark. Good. Uh, I guess the IV is irrelevant because I have a forma of this guy. So, cool. Alright, well, thank you for your question. And let's see what I wrote down here. Ah, uh, yes. I have many... Of my plus tens, like, I was, I was looking, and I was thinking of this, right? And I was like, dude, I love my my duo leg yarn and, and Fjorm. They're so amazing. They've, they've gotten me through so much. I even used them in Summoner Duels for, for a time, like, back in the day. Before it got <laughs> way out of fucking control. Um... But, ultimately, uh, it, it was a tough choice looking at what I hid, but um, I, I had to land on Ninja Sonicy, a.k.a. Maki Roll. Um, she's just, I mean, she's a Tellius unit, Sonicy and, and Micaia. Um, and yeah, they're, she's just so strong. I feel like I can always rely on her to defeat the toughest enemies. Um... Yeah, it's pretty cut and dry. I didn't have a whole lot to say about my favorite. It's just they're Tellius, and <laughs> I I use them all the time. I use them in in like summoner duels semi regularly. I haven't in the last couple seasons, but uh, arena I use them almost all the time. 
I actually don't use them in PvE that much, honestly. But, eh, anyways, they are definitely a stable in arena. Having that self dance is just so freaking good. Now, my least favorite. It's. <laughs> oh, God. Oblivion might. might ban me for this one, but. It's hard to admit, but my least favorite is the kid Ike. Dis Look, I have him at plus 10, okay? Like, he's still an Ike. But despite that, I think he's my least favorite. And, and it's the answer is simply because I hate those stupid children banners, man. They're dumb. It's it's my least favorite theme of all the like seasonal banners. I wish they would stop it, but it, every year it still happens. Ugh. That's pretty much the gist of what I wrote, honestly. What, what verbatim did I write, actually? Uh, this is hard to admit, but it's probably young. I, I'm probably the biggest hater of the children banner there is. Like, I can't reiterate just how much I dislike the theme of the banner. Yeah. Despite having it at plus 10, just because it is an Ike, I guess. <laughs> um, he's probably aged the worst out of all the duos in terms of both stopping power and tanking ability. Truth fact. He desperately needs a refine and kit overhaul but I refuse to do it until he's refined. Yeah. Sad stuff. I think even when I did plus 10 that young Ike, it was on the double special banner where he shared he shared a uh, color with Hitari Nyla, who I also, I plus 10, I plus 10 both of them at the same time. Um, but yeah, even when I did plus 10 of my don't think I even used them all that much. I might have used them in Arena, like, two or three times. <laughs> like, even then, I realized, like, yo, he can't really do much. <laughs> this kind of sucks. <laughs> so, yeah. Unfortunate, but... that be my answer for that. Alright, let's spark another shez here. Yep. Get him. Get him. Got him. Good. Good. We are plus one. Let's go. And we move. See, so yeah, I'll probably go down to like a hundred orbs remaining, so I use like probably use like 500-ish for the for this first part, I guess. Or if I get down to that many and I have pity, I'll just keep going until I break pity, I guess. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Water. Right, let's get it. Woohoo! Uh, okay. Very good. Very good. We get a double. Back to back. Yeah. Alright. Let me see what to buy. Let me gear up my next question here. So. My next question comes from Star K9837. Well, Star K, thank you for leaving a question. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, so they ask. Oh yeah, I so I did um specify that you didn't necessarily have to ask a fay related question. It could be about anything. So they kind of asked two questions here. They asked Fay Faye related, what unit slash banner reveal was the most surprising or stuck out a lot for you? And their second question that's non fay related is, did I check out the Olympics at all? And in my peripheral vision, I see we got a giant Ike. 
That is fine. That is... Actually, you know what? I'll keep this one. HP is probably better than plus res. If I were to make another Ike, which I hope I don't have to, but... If, if that comes to fruition, I'll probably go HP over, over res. <clears throat> so yeah, thank you for that question. And we'll go to me answer here. So, this one, I thought I'd have to think about a lot. But actually, once I, re once I remembered one thing, I was like, oh yeah, it's got to be that. Um, the thing that stood out to me the most, like, as a character reveal, which ended up being the banner as well, like, I guess, as it often tends to be, <clears throat> was way back, I think it was either the first or second Fey Channel for Book 3. It, I think it might have been the first Fey Channel for Book 3. Um, there was a point in which Tabarn just randomly and nonchalantly flew across the screen and dropped a letter into Faye the Owl's, like, beak or lap or whatever, what have you, and then fucked off, like, off screen. And, and I, I, I sat up out of my chair. I had, I think at the time I had it on my smart TV. And I was like, what, what, what the fuck? Go, go back to Tabarn. Hello? You can't just have Tabarn on screen and not talk about it. Go back to Tabarn. What the <laughs> I was like, Tabarn, what the fuck? Look who's units in Bay. Let's go. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so not long after that, they uh, unveiled the next banner was going to be Tabarn, uh, Racin, Mordecai, and Leith. And I lost my shit. I was like, holy fuck. They're putting Lagoo's units in Fey. This is awesome. How is this going to work? Are they going to be good? To burn mostly. Oh my god. <laughs> and yeah, that that is absolutely the uh, the pinnacle of hype. I think for me, I think the most excited I've been since like that reveal was like when legendary male Alir, and then now for Shez. Doesn't doesn't happen often, but when it does. <laughs> And regarding the Olympics, I don't ordinarily watch much stuff like outside of outside of like playing video games, watching like movies or anime or just something on Netflix or Prime Video. I don't really keep up with pop culture like a sports Olympics. It's over my head. I don't really care. But I am aware of all the memes that have come out of this year's Olympics. They, they're they literally everywhere. I don't know how you couldn't be aware of all the memes this year. Like, if even I know what they are. Bro, even the guys I work with know what they, <laughs> that shit is. Like, to be fair, they watched the Olympics, but, like, they know it's a meme. <laughs> and they don't even know what that word is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Crazy. So, like, I am aware that uh, the F2P assassin from Turkey competed <laughs> against a, uh, that, that's a meme, I, I don't believe he's actually an assassin, but the meme is, he's an assassin, and they were like, yo, don't get first place, we can't make it obvious, and he's like, alright, and then he competed against the pay to win, like, decked out Asian person with, like, all the, they had, like, a, like, glare reduction glasses, and, like, something else up front of their glasses for I don't even know what it did but then they had like also like a stabilizer for their wet for their uh, shooting arm and stuff like that and they did like this anime like Jojo pose or something like that when they shot their gun I was like what the fuck <laughs> that's crazy so yeah I'm aware of the memes so like there's that and then there is also um oh yes the breaking drama right um Ray Gun or whatever her name is scoring zero, looking like an absolute fool. Like, I'm aware of that. I'm, a, I'm aware of that dude who, like, uh, didn't win a medal for pole jumping because his cock was too big. <laughs> Fucking... It is, like, 
hit his like a uh, shaft off the pole. Hit, or sorry, got us right there. He hit his pole off the pole. So that was pretty funny. <laughs> and then of course the most um wholesome thing probably to come out of the Olympics meme wise, I think, was when um I, I don't know if it was I don't know what the sport was. It I really don't know what the sport was. It, it was it swimming? Women's swimming? Um there was first and Third place was two Italian women, and then second place was a uh, an Asian girl. She looked she looked younger, so I say girl, but maybe she was older. But anyways, it was two Italian women and an Asian woman, and um, the Italian girls were like had their medals up to their mouths, like biting it, and then the 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 other girl seemed confused, but they're taking photos of them. She's like, oh, maybe I should do it too. So she she looked at them and then she did it. So I thought that was pretty cute. But yeah, other than that, I don't really watch anything or whatever. Yo, let's go. That is what's up. Um, yeah, I would say the only, the only like normal person thing, I guess I'll, I will phrase it as, is like once... Once in a blue moon, I'll watch, like, f the FIFA World Cup with my father. That's fun, just because it's with my dad, but... I mean, soccer's, like, not... boring to watch. I mean, it can be, but... I enjoy playing soccer. I think just because soccer's, like, the one sport I personally would want to play, or, like, I have played it before and I enjoy playing it. Um... It's, like, not that boring for me to watch on TV. Also, another Shez. That's fucking amazing. Ooh, and he's plus speed. Let's go. We have our main Shez. Awesome. Um, but yeah. That is that. I don't know. I'm just, I'm a basement dweller. I keep to myself. I don't really... I don't really look into what's going on in the world that much. Because I'm, for the most part, uninterested. I just stick to my to my own interests and hobbies, and that's pretty much it. And that's all the questions I have prepared for this part of the video. Maybe I should have... I had, I had like, maybe two others, I, I think, but... Although, how about we do this, since we have, like, 300 more orbs to get through. Um, I have... So, I, one of the questions that I have that I didn't answer is from Elroy. However, I have an old question from Elroy that I didn't answer in a previous video. Okay, we get another Nurgle. That's pretty cool, I guess. Dude, Oblivion's gonna fucking take shit. <laughs> Getting all these Nurgles. Um, so... A while back... Now, this one, this one I'm gonna have to think about. But a while back, Elroy asked, uh... What do you enjoy about Faye the most, and any fond memories of Faye? Man, that's a loaded question. I have to think about that. I really... I'm not sure. Well, I think what I enjoy... Actually, no. It's... It, when, when I think about it, it's, a little, it's not that difficult to answer. So, what I enjoy the most about Faye right now is um, at the beginning of every month when they do those limited hero battles, I attempt to clear the Abyssal maps using only one character. And that's been really fun for me. That is the most fun I have with the game now. Because, like, I figured, like, with all the stuff I have in my bear right now, all the plus tens I have at my disposal, all of the fodder that I have to make strong builds or, like, weird, wacky builds for niche situations, 
I should be able to figure out a way to clear these abyssal maps using just one character. <laughs> I think one of my favorite ones I did was um was the Golvagen Kavasir one, where I used a uh, Fallen Krom. That was pretty. <laughs> I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to do that because I don't really have that many strong awakening characters, but you know, I pulled it off. And that was pretty fun. I uh, most my most recent like most impressive one I think was I I soloed the Abyssal Emblem Ike map with Emblem Marth. So if you're interested in seeing how I did that, videos on my channel somewhere. You could probably just search Chronicus uh, Abyssal Emblem Ike solo, and it'll probably come up. Uh, let me see. Oh, I also, so I mean, as a, a side note, so that's what I enjoy the most about Fade currently. But I also still very enjoy Arena, which I mean, of course, like it, <laughs> Arena is probably something that most people detest. But like, I, I don't know, I, I know it's only because I have whale stuff and I have plus 10s and legendaries and all that shit. I mean, look at me, I'm, I'm plus 10 another new legendary right now, but... Dude, I wish these Ikes were <laughs> Lumeras, man. I haven't gotten Lumera yet. Very unfortunate. But oh well. Um, yeah, I, I do genuinely enjoy Arena every week. I enjoy it more when it's like in the cycle if it's been in right now where it's like we haven't had a new legend so what they do is they go through the old legends every week and every week it's a different legend as like the focused the focus bonus unit that's when I really enjoy it because then I'm using units that I normally wouldn't use uh, so yeah arena is fun for me still and fond memories of Faye? Eh, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm honestly not sure. I, I wouldn't say I have fond memories of playing Faye. I mean, it's something that I might play at, at the most like an hour at a time, a couple times a day. Hmm. Fond memories of Faye, that's that's something I'd have to really rack my brain about. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Oh, uh, well, that's fine. I mean, there when I when I when I think of fond memories of Faye, I guess I could say like there are tubers that no longer play the game that I miss watching, like um, uh, Lu Bu Feng Jin. I was was at the time my favorite Fei tuber. I had a lot of fun watching like his his plus ten videos and stuff like that. Um, I really really enjoyed watching uh, Dire Thunder on Twitch. He would do his arena runs and arena assault runs and it would just be chill, just talking and it'd just be a chill time he'd do his runs and we'd be talking chat I missed that I, I probably missed that the most because I I genuinely enjoy watching other people do their arena runs and there's really no one out there that record their arena runs I feel like it's just me and then like maybe three other people One of which actually quit the game, so it looks like me and two other people, really. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know if many people know or would remember Dire Thunder, because he, he wasn't on YouTube. I, I, well, he had a YouTube channel, but he was mostly primarily on Twitch. I remember before I, back when, this was all before I even made videos myself, right? So like I remember um, 
being in like reaction like in a stream like there'd be a reaction stream and I'd just be in the chat and it'd just be like kind of a, a reaction party with like sergeant of dokes that was always a fun time uh there's this guy named uh what was his name um ah oh, dude I can't remember his name hold on it'll come to me Something Productions. Let me see if I can find it before I get to the end of this video here. I think he... Straight up doesn't do YouTube at all anymore. But if his channel still exists, it should be in my subscription feed here somewhere. There he is. Um, he had like 2k subscribers, but like, you may or may not know this person. Um, his YouTube channel was DLSN Productions. That dude had the, <laughs> the funniest, like, most hype reaction videos for stuff. Like, I never laughed so hard at a reaction video before as like when... He did his reaction for, uh, I think it was Summer 2, like the second year of Summer. It was the one with, like, uh, Noir and... <sighs> Who was it? Tana, I think? Summer Tana, I think it was that one. <laughs> Bro, his editing skills were really good, too. It was just such, it was just such a funny video. I miss that dude. Yeah, well, I don't know. I know I... I, th I think I mentioned that I would get to that question in, like, the future, so... I do appreciate the question, thank you very much. Probably get uh, one more five-star, and that'll do it for this video. We're getting close to the hundred mark, anyhow. Uh, obviously, I do want shez in as few orbs as possible, but like, I would like <laughs> at least like one or two Lamera as well. It's cool if you don't give me any more Ikes game. Just Lumeras and shez, please. That would be so swell. It's selfish, I know, but you didn't ya. Hello. I don't think I have her plus 10 yet. She's got to be close, though. It's got to be close. Hello, Luna. What you saying, girl? Say hello. She's rolling around. <laughs> We're almost done. Go upstairs in a minute. Kamui. Kakashi's left eye. Honestly, this next five star might take, just take the rest of the orbs, huh?
<laughs> That's gonna take some getting used to. The sprite looks nice. She looks like a butterfly. What the? Hold on. We cleared out the the mess of things, so we can continue on, break this pity, and call it a part, call it a part one. I was gonna say call it a video. That would also be adequate. Correct. I don't know. My brain's fried. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> oh God! I can't speak properly anymore. I've reached my limit. Yes, just give me reds. I'm gonna break this pity. There needs to be reds. Ah, yeah. This fucking guy, bro. Gonna have another Embla situation on my hands. Well, that sucks ass. I really wanted to be Lumera or a... Or a Shez to end things off. That really sucks. Um, I'm ready. So, here we are after... Uh... Roughly 600 orbs. I have five shes, which is phenomenal, honestly. It's decent pace for like 50th percentile, I would say. Uh, decent pace for like f probably 1500 orbs. Um, so we've got equal, equal, sh equal shes and, and ikes because I sparked a shes, so. God, that, that kind of, like, Shez aside, like, some of these Ikes could have been Lumera, man. But I suppose saying that some of the Shez could have also been Lumera, so, like, I'd rather have the Shez, but... That's just the way it goes, though, right? Anyways, that's part one. And, uh, we'll see you for part two. Catch you later. We gotta let it go!